a toothbrush, some baby wipes, a t-shirt. What do these all have in common? Well, they're great for when you're in the workshop. And in this video, we've got some amazing mechanics hacks for every single person at home. So stay tuned. Okay, number one, it's the baby wipes. Now, for all you people who are commenting right now and saying that my bike is a little bit dirty, which it is, it's been ridden, but it doesn't need quite a hose down. The dirt is dried on, and this is when these baby wipes come into play. Now, they're so easy to use, and what I have found is they clean up everything like a charm. You can get into all those tricky places, around the bottle cage, for example, right down into the hubs, and clean out all in behind the chain stays where the dirt can really stick to. And sometimes you can miss it with a brush. So I'm gonna give my bike a quick wipe down. Right, so there we go. Bike is looking a little bit cleaner now and it's so easy just to do it. Don't forget that you can actually do this in the car park. These are also great for cleaning mucky hands and helmet, equipment, etc. All polishes up really well with these. So if you've never done it before, check it out. Now pretty much everyone at home has got a t-shirt that they're given to for Christmas that they probably don't want. It's one size too big, fits a little bit awkwardly. Well, this is actually perfect just to cut up and then you can use it as a rag to clean your bike, wipe it down, use a bit of water and fairy liquid. It's a great hack when you're washing your bike. I've done it many a times. Or you can just clean your chain with it. Next up, there's a bit of a creak coming from my front wheel and I'm assuming that it's coming from the axle. So I'm gonna take the axle out Give it a clean using my rag, and then I'm gonna show you how to re-grease it with a little hack. Okay, so I've got my toothbrush. This one is an old one, it's been used. It's past its best. So what I'm gonna do is just dip that into my grease, and then it really allows me just to super evenly apply the grease along the axle. So it's actually covering the whole thing. When I go to slide it in, it shouldn't actually just get that big bong that you get at the end of it, where the dirt then sticks to the grease. So there you go, look at my axle, nicely done. Excellent, super easy, look at that, no gunch. Boosh! Okay, this next hack, well it's three in one. I'm gonna use a spoke and show you three different ways that you can make this into a hack that's gonna help you. Okay, number one, I'm gonna cut off the J-bend part of the spoke. And we're gonna sharpen it to give you a little pick so you can check those threads over. You can do whatever you want with it, jam it in places and just get dirt out. Here we go, let's cut it. Right, so you've cut your spoke, you're just gonna get a file. We're gonna sharpen that up a little bit, give it a bit of a point so you can just get into those threads, get the dirt out. And just like that, I've got my sharpened spoke. So I can just take it onto the jockey wheels. There's been a bit of dirt and grime's been built up. The chain might not sit in them quite so well. So with my sharpened spoke, we're just gonna get rid of all that and the chain is gonna be running smooth. And then my next hack for it, which I'm not gonna do, is if you've got internal cable ring, and you can just use one of these, you can even bend it, twist it ever so slightly to give it a bit of a hook, and then you can fish out that tricky internal cable ring system. So next up, the use for that spoke, we're gonna cut the J-bend off again, and this time, it's actually gonna be to hold your chain together when you put the quick link in. So you're gonna need a bit that's about, gonna say an inch and a half, so we'll cut it down to that. And then we're gonna bend each end with a slight L shape so it can hook the chain. I'm gonna do that now using a pair of pliers. Okay, so that's the sort of shape that you're looking for. It's dead easy to bend using just a pair of pliers. I'm now gonna hook that onto the chain and we're gonna join it back up. Okay, so what this makes it really easy for is when you pull that mech down, you can hook the chain together. You can almost actually just let go of the chain itself. It's gonna sit in that position and then you can just work and put that power link in or if you've got a Shimano chain and you need to add the pin in, exactly the same thing. It just gives you that bit more space. You've almost got an extra set of hands. And then just hold onto that mech so it doesn't spring back, remove your pin, and there it is. It's joined back together, super easy. Okay, next up is a suspension hack, and this is an easy one to do at home. All you're gonna need is a tiny little zip tie. You don't want anything sharp, and the first thing you're gonna do is make sure that you give that seal a good clean, because when you do this, you don't want to get any dirt in behind. And then just with your fingernail, nothing else, just ever so slightly peel back that seal, slip the zip tie down, and you might sometimes hear a little bit of air escape, especially if you've been traveling or riding some really long descents. It can just build up, and it's not gonna give you that really sensitivity at the start of the travel that you're looking for. Okay, now this next one is more of a bolt. It's not so much of a hack, but it can get you out of jail if you start to round off that bolt. What I'm talking about is, if you use a Torx key like this one here, it's a T25, 
This bolt would normally take a four mil Allen key, but it almost fits perfectly. Now, I wouldn't want to absolutely ramp this up, but if I have started to round off some of the edges where I want to get the Allen key in, I can actually find that it might just sit in and it would just give me that extra little bit of purchase to almost undo it. Likewise, if you have forgotten your Allen keys and you could think about using a set of Torx key to tighten things up, but you don't want to go too extreme with it because you do not want to damage any of those heads. Okay, now one of the hardest things when it comes to mechanicing is actually getting your disc rotors aligned correctly. This clever little hack, well, I found it from a friend on World Cup Racing and a specific tool for it, but you don't need that. All you need is two little bits of card, which we're gonna show you how to make. And you're gonna put these in between the disc and the pad itself. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen off the caliper. And then those two pieces of card that I cut up and made earlier, they're just gonna go in between the disc rotor and the disc pads. So I'm gonna slot them in there. It can be a little bit of a fiddle to get in there. There we go, number two is also in. So now all I need to do is tighten those five mil bolts back up and I should have my caliper correctly spaced. So let's get those card out, one out, two out. Just be careful of your fingers. Give it a spin and let's find out. Boom! Perfectly aligned. Okay, now this next hack is a total pro one, and it's not one that I'm necessarily gonna recommend that you jump out to the garage and do instantly after watching this video, but it's all about trimming your tires down. So you could be looking for a little bit more rolling resistance, or you could be looking for a sharper braking edge. If you've got an old tire, then this is a perfect time to experiment. All you're gonna need is a really sharp set of side cutters, and what you can do from there is just experiment with different patterns, find out what works for you, and hey, you're gonna feel like a pro. So hopefully there's some hacks in there that you're gonna find really useful for yourself as a home mechanic. And if you want to watch some more videos from GMBN, then make sure that you click on that globe to subscribe, because by subscribing, you'll never miss one again. And then click just up there to see some wet weather riding hacks, and click down there for seven hacks to get ready before you ride. Don't forget to give this video a thumb up like, leave your comments down below of what hacks you like doing, and there's only one thing left to do, make sure you share it with all your mates. See ya.